For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Steve, and I am Joe's identical twin brother. Yeah! Yes, yes, you probably thought I was Joe, because we look so much alike and all, and our mother used to dress us the same, give us the same haircut, right? Can't tell who's who, right? And in fact, uh, we've been fooling people our whole lives, and this one time, and Joe doesn't know this, but I even fooled Phyllis. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just his friend. And the best man. And as best man, there's something I want to say. Now, I've known Joe a long time. We met in college, though we didn't have any of the same classes together. And we didn't even go to the same school. So I really don't know how I know him. But regardless, I've always liked Joe. He's a nice guy. He's courteous, he's gracious, and he's really funny. You'd be surprised how fucking funny Joe can be. I guess I shouldn't say fucking at a wedding. Yeah, fuck it. Anyway, the point is, as much as I've liked Joe, when I met Phyllis, I couldn't understand why this successful, intelligent, beautiful woman would choose my friend Joe, out of the vast selection of young, handsome, wealthy, and very eligible men. Not that there's anything wrong with Joe, but you know, he's just Joe. Well, the truth is, Joe is more than just a nice guy. He is a loving father, he is a caring son, he's an outstanding project manager. <laughs> And he's someone that I'm very proud to call a friend. And he can sing. <laughs> so what's not to love? Right. So, Phyllis Joe, when you both made that pivotal decision to choose that person you're going to spend the rest of your life with, I think you both made quite an exceptional choice. So let's drink a toast to these two exceptional people and wish them a lifetime of health, happiness, and continued good times. Joe and Phyllis. Okay.